Right, so I want to talk more about the city versus country. And so we've been camping a while and figured we'd go to town and stock up on water and food and take showers and uh, <laughs> stuff like that. And um, what you're looking at here is basically the only patch of grass in the city. And I have to say, we forgot how bad it is. And as you can hear the noise behind me, and this is only a 30 mile an hour road. <laughs> it has been like that nonstop. We had the worst night sleep ever. This is the only patch of grass. And of course, so we wake up um, <laughs> to edging, you know, and of course all around our room and Last night we were going for a walk. It was hilarious trying to, we have to hide the puppy. There's cops around, there's people around. There's just all this crazy stuff. And we met some people on the street and we're just like talking about, they're from a small town in Oregon. And uh, we're talking about the differences and stuff. And he, uh, uh, we just started laughing about the absurdities of, you know, having to hide to go smoke and, you know, things like all the, all the things going on in the city, the noise, no birds, no, it's just complete chaos and everyone getting busted for something or having rules for something, but we were laughing about it, just having a good old time, making connections with people and like basically every person on the street thought that we were laughing at them. And so then we get a threatened, threatened and attacked and yelled at and just like, seriously, like three different groups. <laughs> it's crazy. But man, you know, being here, whatever, we're here for two nights. And just being here, we're realizing that we are so on the right path. And I'm telling you, when we're out there in the forest and the beaches and exploring, we are in heaven. We're just like, what else is there? What else do we need? What else matters? And we know we prefer that over the city, but being here again, now we know why everybody's so stressed out and so on edge and so wanting to control other people because they're being controlled and they can't control themselves. And it, you know, <laughs> clearly, what we're experiencing in this world, the walking dead, is really an epidemic. But it's here. There's look, look around. There's like no connection to nature except that little piece of grass that was edged today at eight in the morning, by the way. Okay. It's like, look at this. No wonder everybody's crazy, you know? There's like no life, there's no anything. They are completely disconnected from their true selves, who they are. There's like, what is, what is there? A patch of grass to take a puppy. Oh, go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so it just, it's really sad. And I mean, I knew I left cities obviously but sometimes you forget and it really man I'm thinking of the times when you know I'm just driving around driving around the city and you know just trying to find a safe place to sleep and you never get a good night's sleep because look at the noise all around it's not even rush hour you know and it was like this all morning we did not get a good night's sleep at all I'm ruined for life, really. Sleeping on the ground, outdoors, fresh air. That's the best. It's the healthiest. I've never felt better. I've never felt more of an aliveness and a purpose and of what I really, really, really want. You can't get that here with the distractions and trying to keep up with the rules and keep up with the, the pace, the speed limit, right? <laughs> you're, you're, schedules and oh it's just so dreary and like in here in particularly everything's just dead clothes no life no no anything 
and I know you're like, oh, well, I'm in a better city, it's more alive, and oh, there's so much to do, and yeah, okay, that's great, but you're still listening to this. Yeah, you're still listening to the sirens, the crap, you, you, no, you know, life, nature, chirping birds, deer, elk, <laughs> you know, there's no connection to that which you are. And you are nature. We are nature. I gotta say, you know, the people on the street last night that you know, yelling at us and stuff because we're laughing. We were just having awesome conversations with really cool people. And I hate to say it, but I can understand why people think that, you know, why they hate homeless people or stereotype them because I'm reminded again in the cities. It was like homeless people acting crazy and freaking out like that. We were just laughing. No, we're, we didn't even know they were there. We're just, until we're getting yelled at. So, yeah, there's a lot of freaks on the streets. There's a lot of freaks living in homes in the cities, okay? It's a city thing. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of people saying, oh, well, have peace in your surrounding and I'm spiritually elevated. Okay, let me get under the thing. Elevated and this and that, and that's the key to have peace amongst the chaos. Okay, cool. But what kind of peace? Aren't you the one sitting at home on the computer. Yeah. This is a really like rough reminder actually, you know? Um, I can't wait to get back to the forest and we are going back tomorrow. We just thought we'd have a couple nights, rest, clean clothes, all of that stuff, but I can't wait to find a place to set up our TP. We are looking, we are just, and we're finding, you know, lots of cheap land and things like that, um, off grid, and that's our goal, a TP tree house, and we will uh, make it happen if you know of any opportunities in the Olympic Peninsula. Oh, and you're not a fake, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, yeah, city life or country life, dude. This is, I don't know how people do it. And really, I mean, that's, that's great. I'm glad <laughs> that you can. And I know everybody has their reasons and preferences. So I'm not like bashing or, you know, I can't do this. <laughs> can't sleep. And how did you sleep? <laughs> A little noisy. Yeah. But anyways. All right. Peace out. Mm-hmm. <laughs>